The Kohangarao Trust and this, these allegations of misuse of credit cards, how serious are they? Uh, it appears to be a serious allegation and uh, I'd like to compliment Native Affairs on sticking with that story and moving through the court process. Is it important to an independent investigation here rather than the Trust investigating itself? Absolutely essential, I would think. Right. Do you think the police should become involved? Potentially. What does that make an effect of the audits? Very interesting. What's the government's role in terms of... Who knows? Well, can you say much more than that? I mean, should I'm, they not, be I'm not briefed on the extent of the government's role to date. Uh, I do believe that an independent investigation is essential. It should obviously be hands off from the government. You could never quite know where the tentacles go. The um, stuff with the US in terms of how serious is that if the Congress doesn't reach a, a deal to stop them falling over the fiscal cliff? Uh, ultimately, it would be extremely serious if the, the United States were to default on its debt. The fact that it is very serious uh, makes it quite unlikely that it would in the end occur. Uh, what we're seeing is the world's biggest game of chicken, uh, and it's not one that New Zealand would want to get in the middle of. Yeah, sorry, you, you've just been asked about K Kahana Rao. Uh, yes, I trust. Yeah. So, so what's your view on that? That an independent investigation is absolutely required. Uh, depending on what emerges, there may be a case for the police to investigate. Could this be tip of the iceberg stuff? Do you Possibly. Suspect? Possibly. Uh, just um, a survey out yesterday in the LBRs, the BNZ says there's been an absolute collapse in the first home buyers market. What's your reaction to that? Uh, no surprise at all. Labor's been saying for some time that uh, the Reserve Bank uh, ought to have been in a position where it could more actively consider an exemption for first home buyers. The reason the bank, I believe, was not in that position is because the government's housing policy is an absolute shambles. Uh, they neither have a decent supply side mechanism like Kiwi Build, nor do they have a capital gains tax, and the Reserve Bank's been left up the macro prudential creek without a paddle. Well, Bill English is a sworn just to, you know, in Australia they've got capital gains tax, they have no LVR and their housing market's a mess, so... Um, the Minister is very good at selective quotation of other jurisdictions when it suits him. He should get a decent housing policy first. How would you deal with um, constraints in the housing market? You have the same problem as the, the government in terms of building houses. Um, the Reserve Bank suggesting that you know, issues around resources, workers. Uh, to try and meet that supply? Well, had the government had a decent skills training policy in place, we wouldn't be in the situation now where we're desperately having to import the skilled labour from offshore. Mm. That's a travesty, yeah. and that was entirely prevented. Yeah, but you are in that situation now, so what would you do? So we would be ramping up skills training, uh, the modern apprenticeships programme, school to work transition, gateways, uh, working very closely with the industry training organisations, ensuring they're properly resourced. At the same time, uh, we would do what we need to do to meet our building target of 100,000 new homes through Kiwi Build in 10 years. Would you consider um, lowering immigration uh, you know, targets and to get uh, more migrants here to build those houses? Uh, look, it's been a long-standing tenet of Labor's immigration policy that we should have jobs for New Zealanders first. And uh, likewise, it's been a long-standing habit of uh, Conservatives worldwide to want to import Labor to drive down wage rates and uh, Find an alternative to addressing local unemployment. I think that's reprehensible. So you're ruling yeah, out, you're ruling out any reduction, any, any reduction in the targets. To no, I'm saying this. that the appropriate and proper way to deal with this is firstly to ensure that every New Zealand worker who can be trained and given a job is so trained and is so employed. If then there is a crucial gap, a skills shortage, there are appropriate mechanisms within the Immigration Act for addressing that, and it is then not inappropriate to import labour. Talk this morning of exemptions for new builds. Would you support that? That's certainly something we'd look at. Um, the coroner has said it's time for Parliament to look at the issue of voluntary euthanasia again. Uh, do you think that um, Marion Street's bill should have been put aside, or should, should you have kept going with that? Should you have kept going with that? Um, I think the coroner's views are interesting. Uh, I do think Marion Street made a responsible decision, which was to ensure that the euthanasia debate is able to be held free from the politicisation of an election year. I think that was the appropriate decision. What's your personal view on euthanasia? I have a personal view, but uh, given my current responsibilities, I'm going to reserve that until my caucus has an opportunity to discuss it, if and when the bill is pulled in the future. Why? Uh, because I don't want to be seen to be influencing caucus colleagues on a conscience matter at this point, thanks.